Okay, we're going to try this again. It's actually kind of ironic, isn't it? I just noticed that. The title of today's show is You Only Live Once, and yet here we are doing the show again. Today, You Only Live Once. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning again. Welcome again to 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. That's a little, uh, those are all leftovers from, I don't know, got in late. So, um, this is the second shot at the You Only Live Once show. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think that first one, I'll just go take the first one down. So I'm going to tell the story again of how we got here. Before I do that, when you join, if you would do me the favor of leaving your name, where you're watching from, say hi, uh, whatever is appropriate, whatever you feel like you'd like to say, I love to hear from you. And I can see that you're out there, so you might as well go ahead and say hi um, and let me know. That you're watching that little particular snafu happened because it didn't plug the laptop up. So at any rate, so listen, I, uh, it, it, the top, our topic works out really well, even though I didn't plan it out this way. Hey, Jessica, good morning. Thanks for coming back. Um, before the power failure I was talking about Mackenzie Wilbanks, this, um, amazing young lady that I've had the chance to work with the, um, uh, probably about the last six weeks or so. Helping her get ready for the Alabama launch pad. So launch pad is a program put on by the state, supported by the Economic Development Partnership of Alabama that helps new and uh, rising companies kind of get the support and the resources that they need to be able to build the company. So um, last night, Mackenzie made it to <clears throat> the finals of the contest and last night she or yesterday morning made her pitch and last night she won uh, her division and that uh, earned her a $50,000 prize. So big congratulations to her. Uh, she put a lot of hard work into it. She was, um, she was really nervous, but she was not afraid. And, and that's kind of the, you know, that, that's no one really the point I wanted to make today, but that's the way I'm going to take our discussion today. You know, all great things happen outside our comfort zone, right? Progress, progress is movement toward a goal. All good progress occurs outside your comfort zone. She definitely had to get outside of her comfort zone yesterday. And in part, in, in part, the reason is because part of her presentation was talking about the group of friends that she had when when she decided to, you know, take this from making a couple of pieces that I can wear to actually building a business, selling it in all 50 states, in 22 retail outlets before she graduated high school, when she decided to take it to that next level, there were a lot of people. Most of the people in her existing circle of friends that really didn't support that, that gave her a hard time, that, um, that, that, that really were not supportive of that. And so as a result, she had to make a decision about, do I, do I, you know, forego this opportunity, this, this idea that I want to pursue, or do I keep my, do I forego that and keep my friends, or do I let them go and move into, this new stage in my life. And ultimately she made the decision to move into that new stage. Now, a couple of those friends have come around, but as she tells the story, it's an amazing story. As she tells the story, those friends, there was some separation that was created there, but a bunch of new friends and new supporters came once she committed to building the business. And so, you know, our quote of the day today is, uh, I've used this a lot of different ways. It comes from Mae West. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Love that quote, right? You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Mackenzie had to make a decision. 
about staying where she was or going somewhere new. And going somewhere new can be a scary thing, right? But if you're going to have, if you, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten, right? So over the course of the coming next, you know, few weeks, I'm going to, um, continue to work with her, but I'm going to have her on the show. We're going to, I'm going to, you know, record some interviews, shoot some video, and, and there'll be pieces of that coming out, um, as we go. I just want you to think about, you know, and, and actually let me, let me, let me hit the topic here that I wanted to talk about today too. It, it's time, right? Now that's kind of what we've been talking about all week is getting things done and, and, and managing how we use our time, right? And, and the reason I picked this quote for today is you only live once. You only have one block of time, right? And when it just really grinds on me when people say, Oh, it only costs you a little bit of time. That's my most expensive resource. The most expensive one. Why would I spend that on something I'm not dedicated to? Mackenzie had to make a choice about where to spend her time. And so far, the decision is paying off in, in incredible ways for her. Now, is this still going to be a journey? Absolutely. Is it still going to be difficult? Will she still encounter obstacles? Absolutely. But it's, it's up to her, just like it's up to you, to see those speed bumps in the road as an obstacle, as a wall that's going to prevent you from doing something, or as an opportunity, as Randy Posh says, to demonstrate how badly you want it. All right. So even though she was facing some stiff competition last night, the, the other two finalists in her category both had great business ideas. They made fantastic pitches. Uh, they're, they're, you know, great group of people. She, I mean, it was, it was not a slam dunk going into it. She, I mean, she had to work for it and she did the things that we're passionate about that we want to see happen. We need to, we need to work hard for them. And she did that and she blew the judges away. I, I tell you what, I, I mean, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of pitches and, and that one was pretty amazing. Was it the most polished? No, absolutely not. Was it the best one? I think so because it came from the heart. Decide what you want. You only live once. Decide what you want out of this life. Set that as your objective and then make the decisions to get stuff done. To make that happen. If you do that, whether you ever reach that goal or not, your journey will be much happier. All right. It's Friday. Have a great weekend. I'm going to get a little bit of rest so I can remember to punch all the right buttons next week. All right. Be sure if you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Keep up with the updates as they come across over the weekend. I'll be back here with another new an exciting installment of seven minutes in the morning on Monday. Till then, you guys take care. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you then.